Und wir sind wieder live zurück und warten auf neue spannende Entwicklungen aus Bologna beim Aviation Event. So we are back here now and waiting for new informations, live informations from Bologna. There is the Aviation Event 2021 and Mr. Kurt Hoffmann is there. We are waiting for our talk guest now. It's a very important talk guest now is coming to Mr. Hoffmann. So in the meanwhile, we are, want to show you some nice pictures from Bologna. Ja, wunderschöne Bilder aus Bologna und ich sehe jetzt gerade unser Talkgast bzw. der Talkgast von Kurt Hoffmann ist eingetroffen und wir schalten jetzt live nach Bologna und äh, ja, ich freue mich ganz besonders, wenn ich jetzt die Szene übergeben darf. So, it's your stage, Mr. Hoffmann, and your interview and ja, uh, yeah, we are happy to see you back. Yes, hello again. Good afternoon from beautiful Bologna. Once again, welcome live from our aviation event newsroom today here in Italy. I have a big pleasure to welcome Eddie Wilson, the CEO of Ryanair, one Thank of you. the major carriers in Europe. Eddie, thanks a lot for your time. We know you all guys are very busy, but it's an important conference to talk about aviation. Before we talk a little bit more about Ryanair itself, mm. how you come out of the pandemic, How important is Italy? How many aircrafts you have based here to give our viewers at home a bit of an idea how important is this market for you? Yeah, I mean, if we're going to fly in a normal year uh, approximately 40 million passengers here. Just, okay. um, just, just in, in and out and within Italy. We currently have 81 aircraft based here. Yeah. Um, we fly to 29 airports, uh, about 16 bases. We just opened new bases in Treviso and also in Turin. And there's a couple of more airports to go, but it's, it's an important market. And um, we reacted during the, the, the crisis by um, increasing our domestic um, share for Italians while they were locked down. So delighted to be here in Bologna. Uh, good, good to see you here. The whole aviation scenery will need, we think, about the next two or three years for recovery. So also Ryanair had to have a hard financial impact actually. Mm. So how is your way out of the pandemic and how will Ryanair look after this? You're But, much more agile. Flexibility is always one of your main yeah. topics, but how will Ryanair be, will be in the future? I this? mean, personally, when this happened in, in 2020, um, we, we never left the office. 
we yeah. were planning from for the recovery from day one back in last March and um, we kept our crews flying we kept our aircraft current there was a huge engineering uh, project to do that that meant when vaccination came along yeah. we were able to, to recover um, much more quickly than our competitors so we've gradually built our traffic throughout the summer season and if you take Italy for example our capacity has fully recovered for August um, now we still are not up at the load factors of 95-96% but network wise in July we were at 80% so it's important like we have fully we, we have fully recovered in this city in Bologna in terms of capacity yeah. we have to sell more seats we're driving that with lower fares but broadly speaking for Italy going through for the winter season mm -hmm. we're going to have capacity of 135% of what we had in winter 19 not winter 20 but winter 19 so it's a solid recovery um, but it'll be driven by much lower fares to drive load factors. Well, it sounds like a solid recovery, but we all know after a good summer, for the, especially for the European mm. airlines, the winter is challenging. Yeah. Uh, so your target is quite ambitious. Actually, yeah, it is. Coming winter. It is very ambitious, but I think um, we're going to capitalize on our competitors being slow to come back. Okay. Um, and we're going to do that through pricing as well. And we will be, um, I think, resetting pricing in the European short haul market. Uh, some of our friends in the legacy carriers are in particular difficulty on feed into their into their hubs. Um, and we like it's going to be a very challenging environment for the winter. Yeah. I think next summer people are are hoping. I mean, there could be a curveball on vaccinations during the uh, during the winter. Um, but all the indications are that that's not going to happen so a solid recovery we're planning for you told us that the big carriers like Air France Lufthansa all the legacy carriers will be probably have around 20% less capacity next year well not necessarily them I think short haul capacity in Europe could be anywhere in the order of 15 to 20% lower in terms of intra European seats Why? well Norwegian is a fraction of the size it is sure. it has gone down by 85% EasyJet is getting smaller yeah. the legacy carriers are cutting back on capacity as well and I think there's going to be less capacity and we're going to um, hopefully exploit that in the months ahead so you see that you think this is the right momentum for Ryanair to jump in and to generate more market share I have been in Ryanair for 25 years we only know one trick yeah. and that is cost and drive it through lower fares and that's what we're going to do in, in, in this crisis as well but what's about the political pressure you know there are many governments say oh, the short haul flights should be stopped, should be reduced. So, how you react on that? The governments aren't saying that. What's, what what are saying are the failed legacy carriers are lobbying for that, um, and uh, so you have that with Austrian. I mean, the idea that it uh, that you would restrict choice and and have minimum pricing, like the European Union is based on competition yeah. and the principles of competition, and we are not in the business in this continent of setting minimum pricing to to protect failed businesses. That, that happens elsewhere in the world. It doesn't happen in Europe. So, uh, one important point for Ryanair is always to keep your costs low mm. and high flexibility, but your airline is getting bigger and bigger. Mm. What's the challenge is to manage this kind of cost advantage? Well, you've got to look for something all the time. And the game changer, as we say, is the going to be is going to be the 737 yeah. 8200 Max yeah. because it's got more seats, it's the same amount of crew, it burns less fuel, 16%, and it's got 40% less noise emissions. And that's going to be really important for airports as well who want those aircraft. So that's going to transform our call space um, as we go forward. We have, um, and we, you know, so you've got to lock away the cost that you can control yep. your aircraft your people costs and we've had uh, real engagement from our people and their unions um, during this crisis where we will restore their pay over the next four years and they were very mature about how they did that our airports airport costs are going to fall as well Airports are going to have to get their act together in terms of charging Eddie you agree that we have too many airlines in Europe I, I think consolidation has been put on hold uh, to yeah. some extent because of the legacy carriers now getting bailed out with state aid yeah. with eye-watering amounts of money from their governments um, I think European taxpayers are going to tire of this yeah. um, but like uh, the European Commission is going to have to do something about freeing up slots um, you cannot hold back that in a competitive market and hold back on the basis that you're going to use them at some other stage it's rigging the market it is wrong
It is wrong. What will be the biggest challenge for Ryanair the rest of the year and the next year? I think we've got to get through this winter um, and um, hope that there is no um, curveball, as yeah. I say, on you know the efficacy of vaccines and that, so that people um, will will still want to travel. I think that the the green pass that has been put through by the European Union has been a huge success because it's just an extra piece of documentation that I have on my phone, and I think people have now got used to that. Yeah. It's that uh, people just keep saying it's the new normal, and I think that for next summer, all those people that otherwise would have got long haul because that's not going to be recovered anytime soon we'll hopefully holiday next year on uh, Ryanair flights uh, next summer we will follow Ryanair very closely thank you Eddie Wilson CEO of Ryanair thank you very much for your time here in Bologna thank you. and ladies and gentlemen we are coming back soon with our, one of our next guests ja vielen Dank an Kurt Hoffmann aus Bologna und wir freuen uns schon auf die nächsten Gäste gleich wieder dann hier live bei uns und im Studio